Hey, how's it everyone? Welcome to another episode of Good Vibe Reviews. In this set, we're going to be reviewing the Harry Potter Hungarian Horntail Trial Wizard Challenge, set 75946. It's a 265-piece set, it so costs about $30. Box art looks good, doesn't really overplay the, what the set's about, as you can see on the back. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, it doesn't try to make it something that's not. Let's have a look at the set. Firstly, we're going to just be doing this in order. So we're going to do the tent minifigures and then the dragon, which is the highlights of the set. So first up, the tent. The tent actually looks very boring. Just lacks some texture. I mean, they've done a bit over here on the sides. But if you can see it, it's actually very boring. It's very bland. I mean, it's okay. It opens up smoothly and looks okay when it's open like this. But in general, it's a little bit boring. So I think what makes the set uh, even worse is actually the size of it. So although it's too minifigure scale, I believe it's too minifigure scale, it's just a bit underwhelming. I think it could have been a little bit bigger so you can actually have some playability. I mean, you can put someone to sleep in there, but... In terms of actual playability, I don't think there's much. And if you have it open like this, it looks okay. But in general, it's not that great. I just don't see what you could do with it. It would have been better if it had some sort of... Uh, even if it's stickers on the outside, I guess, some sort of texture to it. It just would have made it that much better. As a display piece, I don't know if it'll look good. So things that are good about it, I mean, the crests look very good on the inside. The build is pretty solid. It, it's not going to get damaged if it's dropped or anything. It, it is quite solid like that. It builds quite nicely. The ease of the way it opens and the way it can sit like that, I do like. The tan color is also very nice for the tent. But like I said, it just could have had a bit more texture to it, even if it was just a sticker. Otherwise, you know, in the old uh, Hungarian Horntail Trial Wizard Challenge, you got the front piece from the challenge, which would have been nice. I know you could obviously get the older sets and then add it to this, but it, it just would have been nice. Even if it was more expensive sets and they added that front piece like for the Trial Wizard Challenge, that would have made it amazing. I would have paid extra for it to have been included. This set comes with four minifigures, the first of them being Harry Potter, who faced the Hungarian Horntail in the Trial Wizard tournament. Harry has the teen legs, if you see him compared to the other students. Obviously because of his age, he was younger at the time. His torso printing is very strong, it matches up very nicely to the outfit from the movie. Also has decent printing on the back. I would have liked the printing to be a little bit more clearer. You'll see when you see Cedric Degree how much more it pops out, but it does look okay. I do like the printing of it. Nice headpiece, nice texture to the hair. So there's two facial expressions. So all in all, his printing is not too bad. The only issue with the sets, even though this little addition's nice, the little foot pedals the only issue with it is the accessory so the broomstick from the trial wizard challenge is actually the firebolt and the firebolt is a brown colored uh broom it's not black which is a bit disappointing because i put all the effort into making the minifigure look good and then the accessory they've just made it in black i don't see why they couldn't have put it in a dark tan even or dark brown, should I say? It's that's the only disappointing part about this. You know, more closely resembles the Nimbus than Harry's Firebolt one. Sorry, Brimstick. But anyway, onto the minifigures that weren't in the previous Horn Tail set. The other three. So this is Victor Crum. He has a nice beige top, which resembles the movie very nicely. He's got the serious face. He does, however, have a bit of a terrible face. He has the smiling-ish kind of face. And that really is out of sorts for this character. 
So I don't like this face print at all. But you do have the other one which is more serious. He does have a nice little crest on the back and hoodie top jacket. So yeah, his general printing is very good. It's just that facial expression is terrible for the actual character. You know, these characters are very movie accurate. And on to Fleur Delacour. This is her first appearance, actually. I think it's her first ever minifigure for her, so that's great. It's probably the reason a lot of collectors will even buy this set. I think, it, for me, it's the highlights of the set, not the dragon. You know, she has the smirking face and beautiful long hair. More like a hairpiece from the friend set, but it does suit the character very nicely. She has very nice printing on the front. She has her initials printed into the torso. Yeah, so her printing is stunning. And it's all done in cursive. It's actually very in, in tune with the character. You know, the character has impeccable dress code. And obviously this printing of the torso, or the, her printing in general, is exclusive to this set. And then she has the... Bobaton Academy of Magic crest printing on the back looks amazing. This character for me is probably one of the best, especially being a collector. I really, really like this character. And onto Cedric Diggory. This is actually his second appearance. His first appearance was in the CMF series. This set has an exclusive torso printing as well. Looks good. They've done the printing on the legs. I don't think it was necessary, but it is good that they have done that. He's also got the crest, nice yellow orange pulling through. So this is what I was talking about with the Harry. Harry's printing doesn't show as clearly as the degree on the back here, which I actually really like the printing popping out like that, as opposed to Harry's, which is quite dull. They've used like a matte black. And then the red to pull through. So his hairpiece suits the character very nicely. His two facial expressions. But yeah, his fa his hairpiece is really nice for the character. The horn tail and what people would consider the highlights of the set. Personally, it's not for me, but I understand why. So. They've got the nice little metallic gold printed egg, which looks great. Little rock top structure where the egg sits with fire around it. It does look quite good. The chain obviously attaches to it, so it gives nice playability. You can keep the dragon or receive dragon from flying around. So onto the horn tail. The horn tail has. A very soft type plastic mold, which is great. You know, it's not very sharp. Great for kids. Good playability. Also, it is quite nice to have the fact that it can bend and not have to stress about breaking it. It'll be very tough to break. It sits on these technique bricks. So it gives it the option to go up and down. It's not meant to exactly twist but you can get away with it with the technique type bricks you can obviously shape the wings to the way you like which is quite nice for display you can make them sit more tilted up so the mold comes in this brown and translucent molding it looks great the wings are actually very nicely done onto the face so the face actually has a really nice printing the only issue with this is, this horn tail is meant to be more rugged, and this is so neatly printed, so smooth, so even the horns, the horns on the back could have been maybe on the headpiece, or they could have done like the Patronus type horns where they're like a plastic mold as well, and have them pop out more, because it's, it's too neat for the horn tail, and it's not very... Horn tail, like the old set was more rugged, although it was a single mold. It is nice to be able to build the actual dragon as opposed to having it as a mold. The fire piece 
is okay. I don't mind that. It looks okay. The tan looks very nice. The actual coloring and printing is good, but it's just that is disappointing. These also fall off a lot very easily, which is quite painful. I don't like that. And so the neck is on like a ball joint, which is nice, gives a nice movability. You see another horn's just fallen off. It's very, very painful. But it's on a ball mold, so is the back, the horns on the back. See, now these sit a lot better. I actually would have, even if it went through like this, so it doesn't fall apart much. The ball joints are nice, you know, it gives nice movability and playability. The back, they didn't leave too much to swear. I like this. You can take the little cheese top brick off allow a figure to, mini figure to sit on top and then it gives you good playability they have given you just a sticker on this back piece that's fine the actual build is fine i don't mind that and then the leg piece the leg piece also is on like a ball joint now i just pulled it off but yeah so it moves very well you can position it obviously as if it's flying or going in to catch uh, the legs legs piece can be moved so you can hold a minifigure in there or the, the toes the claws so these do move very nicely it's just the actual headpiece and the ruggedness you know it, it lacks that horn tail ruggedness all in all the set builds very nicely the dragon is built very nicely, but the tent lacks playability. It lacks some texture, I guess. The horn tail is a bit out of sorts from the movie, you know, which it's based on. It's a bit disappointing. The old one seems to be a bit better, but I do, however, like the build, so I'm not too sure about that. I would have liked to have maybe even seen the stage piece from the old horn tail being introduced and then paying extra so I get more to the set that would have been nice i think that would have made this set that much better in general the the bobaton girl is probably the best minifigure of the lot you know that that minifigure is great that would make me buy the set alone other than that i don't know if i would buy this set straight up i would buy a lot of other sets before i get to it so maybe as a collector i would come back to this set but i don't know if it would be my first choice to buy for kids playing, it might be okay, you know, the, the dragons in it, which is nice, but if you consider it for a similar sort of price range, maybe a little bit more, you could get the Newt's case, which has got a lot more animals to it, that's quite nice, or even when I reviewed the Patronus, the Patronus has more playability and was a lot cheaper than it, so, yeah, all in all, probably not the greatest set, it's not bad, it's just not amazing. Thank you for watching another episode of Good Vibe Reviews. Let me know what you think of this set. Comment down below. Please like, subscribe, share my content.